Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you the procedure for returning your Mac to Apple for repair or replacement under Apple Care. Macs are usually very reliable, but as with all computers, they still sometimes have issues that require repair. If you have a problem with your Mac that's going to need warranty service, your first stop should be Apple's website, where you can go through their support procedure to arrange a return. On Apple.com, click Support at the top and then click on Apple Repair. On the next page, scroll down a bit and you should see a button saying Start Repair Request. Once you click this, you'll be asked to confirm your location. And then you'll be asked what type of Apple device you're having problems with. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using an Apple laptop, but the procedure is basically identical for other Apple devices too. After choosing the product, you'll be asked for some more details on the type of issue you're having. You can choose a category first and then a more detailed description of the problem in the next step. With that done, you'll be presented with a range of support options. You can call Apple support, you can open an online chat with an Apple agent, or if you live near an Apple store or an authorized service provider, you can bring it in personally. When speaking with an Apple agent, they'll usually go through a few tests with you to make sure that it's something that can't be fixed over the phone before they book a repair. After a few days, you should receive a big box from Apple by courier. The box may seem quite big for a laptop, and it is, but hidden away under all of this plastic padding, there's another, smaller box inside. This smaller box is the one you'll be using to return your Mac for repair. Inside the smaller box you'll find everything you need for the return. First there's a hazardous materials warning label to stick on the outside of the box. This is due to aviation safety restrictions and it's required for anything that contains a lithium ion battery. So that includes cell phones, laptops or tablets. Next they'll provide exactly three pieces of pre-cut brown packing tape to seal the box after placing your device inside. There's also a printed sheet with diagrams showing you the steps for the return. If you lose this sheet, you'll find the same diagrams printed on the inside lid of the cardboard box. Next, there's a booklet with return instructions in several languages. You'll also find a prepaid shipping label and a white cushioned bag for placing your device inside before putting it into the box. Apple only needs your device. They don't need any chargers, cables or packaging. So take your laptop out of the packaging before placing it into the bag. They use the same bag for 15 inch and 13 inch models. So if you have a smaller laptop, fold the bag over to make sure that it's a tight fit. Remove the top two foam inserts from the box and place your laptop into the gap in the middle. Then replace the two foam inserts you just removed to prevent the laptop from moving around while in transit. You can then close the box and fold down the front flap. Now take the UN3481 label, remove the backing and place it on the front of the box in the bottom left corner. Take the three pieces of tape and use them to seal the front flap. Put one on each side and one in the middle. Finally, take the prepaid shipping label provided by Apple and place it on the front of the box in the middle. Now it's time to contact the courier to arrange for the package to be collected. In my region, Apple use UPS as their carrier. Go to ups.com and select the region where you live. Then on the next page, click Shipping at the top and then select Schedule a Parcel Collection in the drop-down menu. On the next page, make sure that Yes is selected where it asks whether you have a prepaid shipping label and enter the tracking number from the label in the box below. Then fill in your name, address and telephone information in the next box. The number of packages in your collection should be 1, unless you're returning multiple devices for repair, and the weight should be the one printed on your shipping label. Finally, you can schedule a date and time for the collection. You should receive an email from Apple with a link where you can follow the status of your repair. Once it's been repaired, the status will change to product shipped 
and you should have your device back within a couple of days. Once it comes back, if you received a replacement or if the repair required a new logic board, you'll have to set it up again as if it were a new device, since the storage in modern Macs is integrated on the logic board. I hope this video was useful if you're sending your device to Apple for repair. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.